Hi, and welcome to this video. My name is Francesco Montecchio, and I'm going to show you how to do lab spin tests and how to scale up these results to full scale. At first, you need to take a sample of your feed and shake it very well. The concentration will then be homogeneous. After that, you then need to sample 10 milliliters with a syringe and add them to a vial. As you need two vials for each testing time, you will need to repeat the sampling twice. You then place both vials into the lab centrifuge, which you run at the desired speed and time. We normally recommend to spin between 2 and 60 minutes, as these settings are the most representative when scaling up the results to full scale. Once the spinning is concluded, it is time to prepare the sample for analysis, so we can evaluate the separation results from the lab scale. At first, take one vial and check the overall appearance. There should be a more transparent solution on the top. You will then sample 5 milliliters from the first vial. These should be taken as close as possible to the liquid surface, so you need to lower the syringe while you sample. A small beaker will be used to collect the centrate. You will then repeat the same operation for the second vial. Also in this case, you need to remember to sample close to the liquid surface, lowering the syringe while sampling. 10 milliliters are required for the analysis, but you can take only 5 milliliters per vial. That's why you will use the second vial in order to reach the required quantity. Once you have the results from the chemical analysis, you will be able to enter them into our simulation portal and scale them up. So you will know uh, how well a full-scale separator will do the separation job for your specific case. Once more, we need to start from the home page of our web browser, going up into the address bar and digit explore.alphalaval.com. When we press enter, we reach once more the home page of our main portal. This time, we are going to work with the lab spin tests so we need to click on Explore More. Once we do that, we reach the first page of this uh, sub-portal, starting with uh, what is a spin test, a short description, and an explanation why they are so important. We will then be assuming that you will be the one doing the lab spin test at your facilities, as they are quite quick, uh, convenient, and easy. So we will be opening this uh, sub page. It starts at first describing what equipment you need, but uh, we will focus on the second part of the page, which is the actual scale up tool that we are going to use right now. In this part, we will enter all the results from the chemical an analysis, starting easily from the name of your tests, which can be, for example, test one, the date, so let's assume the 2nd of December 2020, and uh, also we can enter the time, so 14 o'clock. Here we are going to enter the results of the chemical analysis from the virus span at different times. We can see here that we recommend uh, each uh, vial to be spun at 2, 4, 8, and 60 minutes. So you should be having results in terms of centrate quality for each of those times. For this example, we're going to use, uh, let's say, 30 milligrams per liter after 2 minutes, 15 after 4 minutes, 10 after 8 minutes, and 5 after 60 minutes. We can then make the graph, which will be the one showing the scaled up results. So this is how the results look like in this graph on the right. And uh, you see now that we selected a small separator. This uh, graph is basically telling us that based on the results of the spin test, we should have this performance when choosing a small separator. In principle, for example, if we have a feed flow rate of 4 cubes per hour, we would have a centrate 
clarity, so a concentration of solids in the light phase around, uh, let's say, 18 milligrams per liter, sort of. Uh, of course, we can uh, increase the size of the separator and either choose a medium or a large separator. You see how the results look exactly the same, but of course, the flow rate changes. As here, for the large separator, we are going to do the job for 120 cubic meters per hour instead of four, and for a medium separator, we have a value of, of 50. We can also enter another test. If we have more points, we can uh, add them to this curve and see how, how they correlate uh, between each other. So let's assume that uh, we repeated the same test just one day before. Instead of 30 milligrams per liter after two minutes, we can assume to have a 35. Then instead of um, 15, we can assume 17, 8, and 2, just to see how the curves look like. We can then make a graph and see that in this case, for example, the results look slightly different. And uh, this is just useful for you to compare different results and see if they differ very much from one to the other. We, once we conclude the, all our simulations, we can click on Go to Overview. We now reached the first page of the Explore Simulation tool. Please refer to the other video describing how to use this simulator and how to send the results to Alpha Laval for review. Once you do that, we can start the dialogue on how to solve your separation case. Okay, this is all for this video. Thank you very much for your attention.